it's your boy D'Angelo Riley and Ray Falcon. Hello, how y'all doing? Hey, seniors, Nimitz is trying to celebrate your acceptance to college. If you have been offered a scholarship from a college, military, or even a trade school, please send your acceptance letter to the counselor's office. Even if you don't think you will attend the school, we still would like to include the information into our total tally of scholarship dollars awarded this year. We also want to announce your Viking view to the whole Nimitz nation so we can celebrate you, baby. Hey there, Nimitz. We have another donation opportunity for you. The Human Service Service Class is collecting gently used jeans for less fortunate teens. This program is being ran by DoSomething.org and the famous clothing brand, Aeropostale. What it is. All you have to do is bring jeans to room 150 by February 15th. Trust me, these teenagers will be very grateful for the blessing. The Contemporary Crowd will be selling Valentine's Singing Grams next week. The cost for a song for your sweetheart is only $3, and it will be performed Friday, February 13th during 5th or 6th period. Seniors, Class of 2015, signature shirts may be pre-ordered through next Tuesday, February 10th with Ms. Gallimore in room 228 before and after school, most days except Tuesday and Friday after school. The cost is $12 for short sleeve t-shirts and $15 for long, long sleeve t-shirts. Double XL, triple XL, and quadruple XL cost two, three, and four dollars more, respectively. Turn in your money and order, and order form as soon as possible. Also, check to be sure that your signature was correctly done on the note card so that your information can be released. Seniors, if you make the best, if you missed the big class meeting during fifth period last Thursday, on January 29th, then please stop by Miss Gallimore's room. 228 between classes or before and after school to go pick up your senior breakfast award slash prom nomination form. This form will be turned in directly to Mrs. Gallimore room at 228 by Friday, February 13th. I have a PowerPoint presentation for upcoming next year classes, business marketing and finance courses. This will show students what classes they should be taking for the upcoming year, ninth grade, retailing and e-tailing. 10th grade, sports and entertainment marketing or entrepreneurship, 11th grade, marketing dynamics, and 12th grade, practicum in entrepreneurship or practicum in marketing. This past Friday, Nimitz swimmers participated in the UIL district swimming meet in Dallas. All of our swimmers did a terrific job representing Nimitz. In addition, nine of our students qualified for the UIL 36A regional competition, which is held this Friday and Saturday in Rockwall, Texas. Two swimmers qualify in the visit. Ali Kahutek placed fifth place in the 100 backstroke, and Saseed Batista Larema placed fifth place in the 500 freestyle. Girls relay team consisting of Belinda Murillo, Lydia Ochoa, Ali Kahutek, and Catherine Winham placed in three relays moving them forward to regionals. Boys relay team consists of David Terry, Cesar Hernandez, Jason Garcia, and Jesus Cardona placed in two relays moving them forward to regionals as well. Approximately every three minutes, one person in the United States is diagnosed with a blood cancer, and an estimated combined total of 156,000 people in the U.S. are expected to be diagnosed with leukemia, lymphoma, or melanoma in 2014. Nimbus Nation, let's take a stand against blood cancers and donate to our fourth period classes. If your teacher is not participating, encourage them to do so by emailing Mr. Manali. The class who, do who donates the most money will receive a free Olive Garden lunch during school. Attention, National Junior Honor Society. I mean, I'm about attention, National Honor Society members. This Friday, there will be a meeting before and after school to discuss the upcoming spring semester. Our next big event will be the Spring Blood Drive. Remember, NHS meeting today, 815 or at 425, room 163. Spread the word. Let's get it out. We recently had a lockdown drill that was not successful. Some teachers oh. and students did not follow the procedures for a lockdown. There were classroom doors that were unlocked, students in clear view from the door. Some were even sitting in their seats talking. A few teachers kept on teaching and other classrooms followed procedures, but there was movement and whispering. If the lockdown was real and there was a threat inside the building, the bad guys would be listening for any movement or any kind of sound at all. This cannot be stressed in just enough. Lights out, move away from the door, and complete silence. We will have another lockdown very soon. Whether it is a drill or the real thing, we need everyone's cooperation and to be taken very seriously. Join the campaign to end cancer by participating in the Pennies for Patients campaign. Our school is competing with all North Texas high schools to raise money in the fight against leukemia and lymphoma. The number of cancer in young age is very, very devastating. Watch as other teens share their part of their story. Meet 
three kids who are just like you, except they have blood cancer. They talk about what it's like to get treatment. Some of the side effects of chemotherapy were losing your hair, no energy, and your immune system was a lot lower, so it was easier to get sick. Chemotherapy used to make me throw up every about 30 minutes. Chemo messes with my taste buds too. Don't, either, don't ever eat your favorite food while on chemo. You'll never want to eat it again. I lost my hair three times, so it fell out and came back frequently. And I wore a ball cap a lot when I went out in public or really any kind of hat, and I had two wigs. I did not enjoy wearing the wigs because they were hot to wear and kind of stuffy and not really fun to put on. <laughs> Nowadays, when my friends compliment my hair, I don't disagree with them. I just say, I love it too. My hair falls out all over the place and get, makes a big mess when it comes out. Um, we used to use tape to um, pull my hair out until I suggested a lint roller. Two weeks after starting chemotherapy, my hair began to fall out. This was the part I was dreading the most. I decided to go wig shopping just because I wanted some kind of comfort. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society helped the survival rate for most childhood leukemias improve from 3% in 1964 to 90% today. Sometimes some of the medicines I receive, such as steroids, make, make me kind of have mood swings and make my personality different. The steroids made my face kind of rounder and more swollen. Kind of made me feel self-conscious. <laughs> my mom called me a chipmunk. I didn't I want to tell people that I had cancer because as being a teenager, we're really judgmental of each other. And I didn't want people to, you know, talk about me in a bad way or think I was weak. But kids with cancer need friends at this time in their lives more than ever. Kids who are fighting cancer are still kids, just like you. When kids are undergoing treatments, they still want to play and hang out. Things might be a little different. For a while, I'd use a wheelchair to get around school. Sometimes during school, I get so sleepy that I just couldn't even keep myself awake to even hear the bell ring for the next class. Because the chemotherapy made me tired, I left school early a lot. When I had cancer, it felt like it would never end, but I kept on fighting. Students like yourself can help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society continue the research that saved the lives of kids just like you. Join us. I am just... If your fourth period has not already joined, please send an email today to Mr. Manali or notify one of the student council officers. Although the student council is facilitating this campaign, it is about the Nimitz Vikings who is making the donations, setting the records, and creating a legacy. Attention all hardworking students who may be interested in joining water polo. If you want to learn more about the sport or how to get involved, stop by the library Tuesday, February 10th, for the water polo meeting. Parents are encouraged to come as well. Hey man, shout out to our bowling team. Their next match is up on February 14th versus Winston at nine in the morning at Fitz, I mean at Itz. Yeah, I know what that's at. It will be the last district meet of the season. Let's go Vikings. Yes. It's your boy Young Slick, AKA and D'Angelo Ali. Uh, Rizzy Ray, AKA Ray. <laughs> and we signing out, please stand up for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. 